How can a man say this, let alone think this? So this comment was left underneath that video where I'm talking about slavery at its finest. I'm saying that a man was trapping for £100 a day, £500 a week. It's mad to think that you could be sitting potentially behind an iron door for seven months, a year, maybe two years if you get caught and you're getting paid less than a painter and decorator. Imagine trapping, risking your freedom for less than what a painter or a decorator would earn in a day. So this comment was posted underneath that video. And a man said, yeah, but £100 a day isn't really that bad. Sure, the consequences are bad, but it's more than a livable wage for a drug dealer. Someone come underneath that comment and said, you know, it's risk versus reward. And let me tell you, in that situation there, the risk completely outweighs the reward. There's no competition. That's like one of your brethren saying, yo, there's a move at Barclays or Santander, you know. There's a mill. But if we get caught, we are getting the electric chair, yeah. Not no four, five, ten years, we're getting the electric chair, rude boy, yeah. No, yeah, no trial, nothing. If you get caught... Get in the electric chair the next day. You're going to say, fuck that. So there is no... I mean, you could not weigh up the risk versus the reward. In that situation there, it's just not worth it. Like I said, a man who is a painter and decorator is getting paid more than a man who is trapping and that. So, hey, I beg you, someone tell me what that noise is. So when I make these videos, you will hear that annoying noise um, pop up that notification it says no supported nfc i mean i need to search for myself you lot who's got s9 or some sort of android phone explain to me what that is why it keeps popping up and making that dumb noise it says no supported nfc and then it makes that noise when, when, it, when it pops up the notification it's just at the bottom of my phone i don't know why it does that but um yeah man like it's just pure laziness so you would rather and obviously Man that are trapping are making more money than £100 a day. I hope. Well, I hope they're not doing it. I hope man's on the straight and narrow. But you understand what I'm trying to say? You, you got you got to just... you got to appreciate your freedom, man. you got to take your freedom more seriously. You can't be putting yourself in a position where you could get locked up just because you can't be bothered to study at uni or study a trade or study some sort of skill, be an IT man and that. And like I said in plenty of my videos before, at some point in your life, you're going to have to sit down for three years, five years, my friend. It could be by way of a classroom or by way of a jail cell. But at some point, you're going to be sitting down for three to five years. So I know which one I will recommend everyone to pick. Go and sit down in the classroom for five years. I know it's shit. I know it's dead. Trust me, I've done it before. I was going uni on a Saturday, rude boy. So imagine, yeah. Monday to Friday you work and then Friday evening, what do most people do? Take off their tie and go and, you know, hit the bar, hit the club, whatever in it, or take off your overalls, whatever sort of line of work you're doing. Go out with their brethren and go and drink and get wasted on the weekend and that, or for wasted on Friday night. I mean, I went into that bullshit anyway, but if I was, I'd have to give that up because I would have to be at uni on, at nine o'clock the next day, which was Saturday. So when most people, they're getting ready to go out at like 10 p.m. Friday evening. Yo, I'm winding down at 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. Because I have to get up at like 6.37, 7 a.m. the next day to go to uni. So I know what it's like to sit down in the classroom. It's dead, but it's a necessary evil. I've done it before. Working at home, Saharangay, obviously mon Monday to Friday and that. But on a Wednesday, I'm leaving work, going home quickly, eating, and then boom going back down to my college to study inspection and testing. So I've done it before. Obviously, I've done the regular studying during the day and that, but man's putting the extra hours outside of sociable hours and that. I mean, during sociable hours, during my free time to go and study and that. So it's got to be done. But look where I am now. If I wasn't an electrician, do you think, yeah, if I wasn't an inspector and tester electrician, do you think I would have five properties right now? Do you think I would be in this position to have five properties if I was working at Asda, if I was working at Argos, 
if I was working some bullshit ass job? No. Do you think I would have the skills and the confidence that I gained from having the skills, being an electrician, to go and want to take on tiling, laminated flooring, carpeting, painting the walls, doing all bits and pieces, building, I actually built this, you know. Let me just turn the camera. I built this stud frame, yeah? So this used to be a through wall. I could see into the living room. This is my dining room. I built this myself. I installed the sockets. I installed the sockets that's down there. Oh, so what happened was obviously um, the carpet used to run over into the, the other section of the room. But um, when I built it, I had to peel the carpet back and I still need to cut it. Do you hear that sound again? Yeah. So anyway, I had to cut the, I'm going to need to cut the carpet and that when I officially divide these rooms into two rooms and that. So this room here will be a small bedroom and then that room there is the ex, well, the living room. That will be a very, very large bedroom and that. So um, and same, I have to do the same with the carpet on the other side. I have to cut it back a little bit. But if I wasn't an electrician, I wouldn't even be in the building trade. I wouldn't have the confidence to take on property renovation myself. Now, is there some accountant? Is there some lawyer? Is there some IT guy that does building work in himself? Yeah, but for the most part, most men who are white collar men, you know, office man, them, they're not going to be doing no building work and that. It's not, it's not their team. So um, yeah, man. If, if any of you lot is trapping right now, you need to stop. I know you should so come out of prison and that, and I'm just thinking like, yo. If you continue walking down the same path that you was walking down bef before you went to jail, you're just going to end up in the same position. you got to break the cycle. So whoever you was hanging around with before you went to jail, when you come out of prison, you got to start hanging around with them used there. Because you're walking down the same path, the path that, left, that led you to sitting behind an iron door, wasting your time, man. Anyway, man, that's it, man.